In this video, we are going to solve for molar volume and specific volume using Reliquang equation of state. The problem states, oxygen is contained in a cylinder at a pressure of 100 bar and a temperature of 190 Kelvin. Estimate the molar volume in meters cubed per mole and the specific volume in units meters cubed per kilogram using Reliquang equation of state. Reliquang's equation of state is as follows. P equals RT over volume minus or molar volume minus B prime minus A prime over the square root of temperature times the molar volume times the molar volume plus B prime. The substance we are working with is oxygen. Um, pressure our P is going to be 100 bar. Our temperature is 190 Kelvin. And we want to find molar volume in meters per mole, meters cubed per mole, and a specific volume in meters cubed per kilogram. Great, so we have pressure. We have temperature, we want to find volume, that's great. So we, all, we have to figure out what our, what our R value is. And in order to figure out what our R value, what our R value is, we have to look at the units that we have. I see that we have bar, Kelvin, and we want our stuff in meters, our volume in meters cubed, and mass in kilograms. So let's go ahead and see what our values we have that matches those units. So let's see here. Let's check from the beginning which units we want. So we have here liters, so not the first one. Second one, we have centimeters cubed, feet cubed, centimeters cubed. We have here meters cubed, that's good. But we have it in Pascals. So maybe not that one, or maybe that one. Not, the one. not that one because centimeters cubed. Not this one because of centimeters cubed. This one has liters. Oh, and this one works just great. And we have meters for our volume pressure we have bar and then we have kilogram and kelvin that's great so that's the r value i'm going to choose for this problem because it matches the best let's go back to the problem we were working on i'm gonna go ahead and write down my r value that we chose and also the units because it will keep us organized at the end. Alrighty. I am going to need, if I'm using the Relic Huang method, I will need my TC my and my PC value, also my ZC, so my critical Z value. These values are all tabulated in your textbook, or if you don't have a textbook, you can search up What's the critical temperature of oxygen? What's the critical temp or what's the critical pressure of oxygen? And you should get a value that if not the same as the value I have, at least very, very similar. So in my textbook, the critical temperature for oxygen is 154.6 Kelvin. My critical pressure is 50.46 bar and my critical z value is 
8, 8. So let's go ahead and solve. In order to solve for A prime and B prime, we're going to need to first solve for critical volume. The formula for critical volume is as follows. And we simply plug everything in since we have all of the, we have all of the values already figured out. My R constant is 0 0.08314. My critical temperature is 154.6. My critical Z value is 0.288. And my PC value is 50.46 bar. When all of that is plugged into our calculator, we get 0 0.0734. Now that we have VC, we can solve for A prime. The formula for A prime is as follows. like this and that's critical temperature the exponent is 3 over 2 so again we already found all the values so right now all we have to do is plug it in to our equation my r value is 0 0.0314 my critical temperature, my, my critical volume is 0 0.0734, which is what we just found here. And then my critical temperature is 154.6. And that value must be raised to 3 over 2. Once you plug everything into your calculator, you get 17.4248. Now I can, what's next is finding B prime. B formula for B prime is as follows. We plug in the values. ZC is 0.288 and my VC is 0 0.0734. When you plug that into a calculator, you get point zero two two one already now we plug everything in to our original Eloquang equation of state formula so our pressure uh, is a hundred bar our r value is point zero eight three one four temperature is a hundred and ninety we're looking for molar volume, which is what that V stands for, minus B prime, which is 0 0.0221, minus our A prime, which is 17.4248, over the square root of our temperature, 190, times our molar volume, times our molar volume, plus 0 0.0. Two, two, one. Using algebra or using your solve function on your calculator, you get that V that you get that V is equal or the molar volume is equal to 0 0.09896 and molar volume is um, volume over moles. And we see in our R, and in order to get those units, we look at our R value. Our volume is going to be in meters, and our moles are going to be in kilogram moles. So we end up getting that number, 0 0.0989 meters cubed per kilogram mole. If we want it in just gram mole, we can do, can, we can do unit conversions. So I'll do that very quickly. One kilogram mole has a thousand gram moles, which will give us 9.896 times 10 to the negative five 
meters cubed per gram mole. Either one is fine, it just depends on the units that your teacher would want it in. And now in order for sol in order to solve for specific volume, specific volume is volume over mass, and in this case they want the mass in kilograms. So we'll take our first molar volume molar volume value, which is 0 0.09896 meters cubed per kilogram and convert it to kilograms. One kilogram mole of oxygen is made up of 32 kilograms and when we do that conversion we see that the specific volume for oxygen in this scenario will be point 0, 0, 0.0031 meters cubed per kilogram. And that is it. If you need any more examples concerning Lee Kessler, Van der Waals, or Reliquang, make sure you take a look at my channel and see different examples I have.